Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for NeuroAngelo. And in this video, you'll learn how to install NeuroAngelo on your Windows machine using WSL, which is short for Windows Subsystem for Linux. And yeah, to get started, we will first need to install WSL. So you just go to this link. I'll post it down in the video description. And uh, you just copy this command here, go in search bar, type in CMD, and then you just paste it here. And this will just install WSL for you. You just press yes here for whatever security thing they ask you. And it will take some time to download the virtual machine platform. And this will take up quite a lot of space. Just remember, have enough this space for downloading this uh, WSL. Uh, the reason why we're using WSL today is that NeuroAngelo is its codes is pretty much all in Linux and it hasn't been confirmed if it can be ran on other systems. So we we'll just do WSL for the fastest. So after that is done, you'll basically have to restart your computer. So let's restart it right now. And after you have restart your computer, you'll see Ubuntu automatically launched and it will say installing and this may take a few minutes. So again, you just wait for a few minutes for it to install. And after that is done, you basically have to enter a Unix username. So you can put any name you want down here. So I just put tutorial and then you have to enter a password. But you have to remember it because you'll need it later when you want to run operations using sudo. So and then after that is done, uh, the entire installation is complete. So you will see this pop up message like this green line before your command line. And you can basically close this window now. And now we need to install Miniconda. So type in CMD and then type in WSL. And to double check if WSL installation worked, it will pop up a green looking command line and a blue directory. And yeah, now go to this link down in the description and we'll install Miniconda in your WSL. So you just copy this commands one by one, paste it, right click to paste just have to copy this specific line and paste it again and after everything is done you can close the window and launch cmd again and if you enter wsl you'll see base in front of your command line so that means miniconda has been installed successfully so now you install some more dependencies so sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade so you, you'll need password for this part and press y and after that is done, you just have to copy another one. Okay, now we need to find a place for you to place your codes in. So you just go to file explorer and just find a place, whatever you want to put your files in. And then you just have to go to the very top bar. This is where the file directory is at. Type in CMD and it'll open up a CMD to that file directory. So you type in WSL to activate um, a WSL and then type in Git to check if you have Git installed. And if you do, then you can use um, Git clone. So you just type in Git clone. Uh, paste the URL by right clicking. And if you don't have Git, you can also download zip. Uh, that can be the same thing. Uh, it will work. And after that, you have the CD and then NeuroAngelo. Basically, you have to change directory into your file folder so you can see users, tutorials, documents, NeuroAngelo. That means you're successfully inside your, your folder. And now you have to open up the NeuroAngelo YAML and then delete the last two lines. Uh, you can open it with notepad like I did here and then you save it and then you can close it. Okay, so now you can go back to the GitHub page and you scroll down, copy the conda environment, create file NeuroAngelo.yaml. So it will just basically create an environment with the dependencies inside the YAML. It will take some time so we can just wait. Oh, never mind. It's done. And then we just conda activate NeuroAngelo. You can just copy this and then paste it. And then when you press enter, you'll see base will turn into NeuroAngelo. And that means you have successfully activated the virtual environment. And now you need to enter another command. It'll be in the description uh so it's basically explore lip path and then you now type in pip install dash r requirements.txt 
and then it'll install more dependencies. And now that's done. You just go back to the GitHub page and we have to do um, data preparation. Uh, let's go to the data preparation page. And if you scroll down, you can see prerequisite. So we had to do that. Copy Gibbs submodule update and just basically downloads Colmap. And after that is done, we need to do some pre-processing for your videos. So if you have a custom video or to be honest, any input video, you have to do pre-processings here. I'm just going to use the Lego sequence demo that they a demo video that they have. And it looks like this. And I'm going to download it and then drag the video inside a neural Angelo folder. Now close the window. You can rename your video to lego.mp4 if you just want to copy and paste most of the commands going from now on, but you can name it anything else. You just have to change some stuff later on. So you just copy sequence equals lego, path to video equals lego.mp4 one by one uh, into the command, command prompt and down sample rate equals two scene type equals object you can have different scene type you can have outdoor indoor object so depend on what you have as the input um you can choose whatever you want so now we need another command a sudo app install ffmpeg call map it'll be down in the description for you to copy you have to press y here and yeah now that is done we can pip install notebook. You can copy that from down in the description. And after everything is done, we can continue follow to run our pre-processing command. So you just copy that and paste it here and it'll produce uh, extractions on the video. And yeah, after that is finished pre-processing, we have to check or validate how well the extraction is of the object. So you just type in Jupyter notebook here and then it will launch something. It will launch this web server that only only you can access and you paste it into your web browser projects. Go to NeuroAngelo, go to scripts, go to visualize cold map. And it'll open up a Jupyter notebook instance for you and you just run every cells. And you have to change um, to whatever you name your MP4 here. Uh, okay, uh, don't execute the second last cell. Just ex uh, just execute the last one, and then you'll see this orb thing pops up. And then you need to make sure this sphere covers the object that you input it. And if it's uh, not. If, if the sphere is not uh, circling your object, you just basically have to go up and find readjust center. So it's basically XYZ offset and you just have to change the values to put the object inside the sphere. So for example, I just offset everything by 10. So you need to find a good place to fit the sphere inside the object. So if it's not good and you actually have to change the offset for the sphere, you have to apply the changes inside config. So you go to projects, NeuroAngelo, configs, and uh, base.yaml. Wait, actually, lego.yaml. And then you can see um, readjust at the very top here. And then you just um, apply your changes that you added into the into the codes here because that is just visualization. So you have to change it in your configs to readjust. So you can save it and close it, and just go back to NeuroAngelo base folder. And after that, you can just go back to um, NeuroAngelo's main page because we have finished data processing. And you scroll down, and we can get ready to start training your Nerf. Uh, so for different GPUs, there's a suggested uh, hyperparameters and you can find it at the very bottom. And depending on GPU VRAM, there's a suggested amount of parameter you should use. To projects, newer Angelo, configs, base.yaml, and you open it with notepad. And so you just have to scroll down a bit and then you can find a uh, dict size and then just change it accordingly to depending on your GPU VRAM and the same for dimension size, which is right below. So since I have 24 VRAM, uh, I'm just going to keep it the default. So if you want to also speed up the training uh, with a trade off of some clarity, you can find batch size. And then you change two to one. 
and there's one more setting uh for checkpoint and max iterations uh you can change it depending on how long you want it to save and then how much you want it to train so i'm just gonna save it to 1250 it will save much earlier and the max iteration for 500,000 I think you need around 30 hours to train on a 3090 I think so yeah I'm not gonna train for that long so I'm just gonna train it till the first checkpoint and show you guys the result there and now we can close it and save it and we can start training so you can press Control plus C here and type in Y to close the Jupyter Notebook instance. And now we can go to run NeuroAngelo. Oh, it's not here. It's here. And then you just copy each of the command. So you just change this to Lego from toy and group example group name, example name, config gpu equals one and if you have multiple gpus you can enter multiple G gpus you just separate it with commas you just copy torch run and you just paste it press enter um we just need to change the experiment name yeah it should be just lego yeah and we can just uh do torch run and then it should start if you fail to get the evaluating progress bar it means it runs out of vram so you have to lower the parameters uh, in the config file like the dict size and the batch size and the dimensions so now it has started running and we just wait and one epoch is roughly 50 iterations so it'll take around 25 epochs Okay, so 25 epochs has finished and you'll see a message save checkpoint to a file directory and then you can find that checkpoint and you can rename it to whatever. I'm just going to change it to 1250.pt. So once you got the checkpoint, you can cancel the training and you can now render the result. So you go to the ISO surface section. So here you can add texture with this flag and you can reduce GPU memory with uh, lowering block res and you can reduce mesh size by lowering resolution and now we can start copying the command paste it here you just replace the xxx with your file checkpoint file name and same for the output mesh uh, you just change the xxx to the name i'm just gonna copy this and set it to where the checkpoint is saved and then i just do change dot pt to dot ply and then i just copy the next command and the next one and the next one and gpu equals one and we do torch run press enter it may take a while it'll take even longer if you add a texture parameter and now that's done you can uh go to the checkpoint file and you see 1250.ply and you can open this um object inside blender or any other programs that you want to see in it wouldn't look that good because i only trained it for 1250 iterations it'll probably look like a blob so yeah that's it for this tutorial if you like this tutorial feel free to support the bycloud ai project by going to our patreon down in the description we aim to provide the latest free and high quality tutorial on open source ai research so it'll be amazing to have your financial support and yeah we'll see you in the next one